Hi guys, in this video we're gonna learn how to split string into tokens, replace unnecessary characters and do some very basic list comprehension in Python 3. So I just call Python 3.6 in order to enter the Python shell. I, uh, this 3.6 is needed for I have multiple Pythons installed in my system. And now I just define the some sort of a user string which is equal to say name email like address phone okay that's enough and let's see what we got here okay and now what we need to do is to split this entire uh, sort of string into tokens and the way of doing this is uh, to use uh, the split function so I just say user string dot split and now I want to, uh, to define the delimiter to split this string with so let's say the uh, white space and he gives me uh, the li and this returns the list of elements and uh, please note that uh, the commas this annoying commas uh, still remain uh, in three of the elements of the entire list so this is what we want to get rid of in the next steps but before proceeding I just like to show you that if you want to do the very basic split and that you don't really even need to specify the parameters so if you say just split with no arguments you get absolutely the same result and if you want to say separate uh, split this uh, by comma like this then you'll have this sort of list but here you will be having some sort of uh, extra white spaces okay now let's define the list variable and assign the value of user string dot split and see what list is so now we have three commas here and the you know like the casual way of getting rid of this commas would be using the simple for loop so we can say like for 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 entry in list and what we just want I won't be really storing this just just to show you the gist I say well, I want to print the entry dot replace and I want to replace the comma with nothing so another function to use in order to get rid of some kind of part of the string is the replace function here we just see our uh, elements uh, our entries without commas and also if here we would uh, define uh, uh, an array uh, uh, another list basically yeah? and we could just do the append function in order to populate that but what we uh, go into learn here is known as the list comprehension and let me just uh, demonstrate you this so I say like well let's call this new list or maybe just call this the format list format list is equal and in order to define the list comprehension syntax first we have to put the square brackets and this would return as a list object and now we have to define the each particular element we are going to work with and uh, here we use the entry element and let's actually keep this keep doing this so I say just entry and now I say for entry please note that these two words are exactly the same that that's important I'll just explain you now why for entry in list and uh, this entry is the entry that would be stored in the new return list and if if I just leave this like so nothing would really happen but if here I uh, type dot replace all the commas with nothing well in this case he would return us exactly what we want here and let me just demonstrate you this so we have the name the email the address and the phone without those annoying little commas over here Okay guys, this is it for this video. I hope this was useful and take care.